Hello and welcome to Lenovo Unboxed. As always, this is Gavin here with Kevin Beck. Hi, how you, Kevin. How you doing, Gavin? Good. I'm doing great. Excellent. Um, and as often happens, we do not have a box from which to unbox this beautiful new product. So this is ThinkPad Twist, which is one of our, yes. uh, again, dynamic new Windows 8 products that we wanted right. to show off to you guys today. Kevin, where should we start? Uh, let's say the increasingly inaccurately named Lenovo <laughs> unboxing series, uh, but we, you know, we want to get them out there as quick as we can. So, uh, so what we've got here is the ThinkPad Twist. This is it is an UltraBook, okay. twenty millimeters, less than three and a half pounds. Uh, and for those of you who've seen our previous videos, we've talked about the Yoga, right? So on the consumer side of the house, we have a converged product, as they say, okay. with full tablet functionality and full laptop functionality. Uh, this is the same uh, general concept. Uh, but done a little differently for a different audience. Okay. Right. And so t talk to us about how, what is different about it. I know the answer to this, of yeah. course. <laughs> Spoiler alert. Okay. But, uh, but also, how does the audience differ? Okay. Um, it, it obviously carries the ThinkPad name with a right. rich business heritage right. and legacy. Um, oh. And whereas yoga is, is mm -hmm. pitched primarily to consumers, right. this is headed for our business audience. But maybe not just, right? No, not just okay. a business audience. I think, personally, I do, I do think that there's going to be a broader applicability to this product. But let's just start from the baseline and sure. say that as compared to a purely consumer product, there are some, some additions and some things that are done differently here. Okay. Right? Uh, primary among them is you. it is a ThinkPad and it has track point. Mm -hmm. Right? So there's certainly a loyalist group out there uh, that wants that, whereas, Absolutely. you know, a consumer may not be a concern for them. Okay. Uh, the other, I, there are many things, and we'll talk about them, but I would say the biggest thing is uh, the availability of a TPM security chip. Okay. So, again, right. this is a, a message to large companies, large IT organizations that's important to them? Uh, large and small. Okay. Right? So you've got uh, schools, smaller businesses, things like that that have security needs that need this. Not something that every consumer is going to need at home, but certainly something that even small business owners as well as large business owners are going to need okay. and want. I just use a padlock at home, and I yeah. try to you have a bike lock, actually, that I use on mine. Right. So, so, um, so what we've got here is let's um, just give you a basic look at this. We'll kind of turn here. So it is a, uh, a ThinkPad. We've got it says ThinkPad. Imagine that. Well, then it must be. <laughs> and then it must be. <laughs> uh, full trackpad, of course, but okay. also the signature uh, track point. And okay. uh, we'll just kind of go around the horn with some of the ports here, and I'll, uh, I'll point out a few things briefly. On this side, we've got uh, USB and mini display port and the power connector. Okay. Uh, we've got nothing on the back, and I don't believe I think that we'll we have see why the there's nothing on the back. <laughs> That's shortly. right. Uh, and then over here on the side, we've got uh, most importantly for businesses and others a uh, Kensington lock slot, uh -huh. um, and this is a differentiator as well. A SIM card slot because we do have built-in wireless WAN. Okay. Right. So that's. Uh, more of a business attribute. I think some individual users would appreciate that as well. An SD card slot, an Ethernet port, a mini HDMI port, uh, your second USB port, and a uh, combination headphone and microphone jack. Okay. And then let's let's get back to, to mm -hmm. talking about what, what separates this from the mm -hmm. IdeaPad Yoga, which you may have seen our unboxing on that as well, Right. and the way that this thing moves and so, works. So to cut right to the chase, Absolutely. here's the key difference. It doesn't flip all the way over around backwards. It is more in the traditional mold of a convertible PC in that it spins around ah, and folds down. Yes. Okay. Not unlike some ThinkPad X series uh, models that we've made in the past. Is that right? Exactly. Okay. Exactly. So and so Yoga has the two hinges and, and goes all the way around 360. Goes all the way around. This is a different approach, right? Right. Right. Okay. Uh, it's just two different ways of accomplishing the same thing. Okay. Right? This is a more familiar form factor to traditional users of a uh, spin around convertible tablet. Um, and, you know, and both have their, their place in the market, but we've decided to do this this way. Uh, still, once again, to reiterate, just want to hammer that point home, bringing this in, you know, with, with full UltraBook specs. Right. Um, but just accomplishing, again, the same thing in a slightly different way. And from an application standpoint, again, you'll have access to all your traditional desktop applications Correct. and Correct. also the uh, Google Play or the new Windows Store for Windows 8 apps. Yep, exactly. Right, exactly. Okay. You know, and this is made, you know, you've got in the vein of our traditional tablets uh, a little bit of an overlap here. Mm -hmm. So it's, you know, made to be gripped, okay. you know, and walked around with and, you know, the screen used in a touchscreen fashion. Okay. Again, um, easy to imagine some of our business users are walking around a hospital or, you know, something like that. You right, know, right. Uh, you know, one of the, the classic examples is, uh, you know, insurance folks who need to be out in the field, you know, looking up rates and things like that, uh, either to sell or to evaluate uh, crash situations, you know, okay. just a small example there. And for so, people who are out in the yeah. field, What's the battery life like on this thing? Okay. Uh, seven hours. Okay. Seven hours. Good. Um, 
and I don't want to get ahead of ourselves, but much yeah. like with the yoga, uh, this can be used in you know the sort of, sort of four classic modes of a convertible. Okay. Right. We showed the laptop being the most obvious. Right. right? Laptop being the most obvious, and then the tablet mode. But then you've also got uh, you know the stand mode. Okay. So for any uh, any individual or any business owner, business user who uh, who travels a lot and uh, well, the, gets the stuck in coach. Scenario, yeah. 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 You know, jumps right out at me. I was on a flight yeah. recently and was feeling yep. very cramped in my seat. Right. So but yeah. this would be great again. Not yeah. not so much for creating content, but for consuming it. Right. Um, you and know, using the swipe it and, and, and using all that it in use. tablet mode. Yeah. Right. Let's pull that back to full size there. So uh, that's nifty. And yeah. then what's we so we said laptop mode, tablet yeah. mode. That was what we call uh-huh. uh, stand mode. Right. And then the final is tent mode, right? right? And then you've got your uh, your tent mode. Right. So right. you can, again, more more used for mm-hmm. consuming than for creating content, but very right. useful. Absolutely. And so um, so for, for our for our consumer users, we mm-hmm. talked about the business features mm-hmm. and what differentiates it. Right. Um, who, who is a consumer user? Like, what's what's a profile of somebody who's in a, in a non-large uh, organization uh, environment? Who, how do you picture that person? Using right. That? So somebody who, you know, wants the, the portability and the form factor of an Ultrabook. Uh, who still needs a keyboard, still needs all your traditional interface devices with your touchpad and your track point, uh, and then also wants all the, the goodness <laughs> that touchscreen and, and Windows 8 will bring. Right. Right? So you've got that, and again, to kind of go back to the other story, to differentiate this from a purely consumer product, you've got things like, I mean, it's simple, but things like a lock slot, mm-hmm. right? A Kensington lock slot, your TPM, uh, you know, things that are going to... Uh, uh, <clears throat> differentiate that in terms of use case. So I think sure. it's mostly business, but it does still also apply to a certain subset of individual users sure. as well. And it's a sweet Ultrapook. We won't we won't yep. mention the exact price because it's going to vary depending on where you live. Mm-hmm. But uh, I was quite impressed with the price. I think mm-hmm. it's a, a very uh, favorable price range. Yep. And uh, this is ThinkPad Twist. Anything to add as we close out here? Uh, no, I think we've covered it. Yep. Uh, check it out on the web. Thanks, yep. folks. Take care. And we're back. <laughs> we had a couple of things we neglected to mention, so we wanted yeah. to do a quick yeah. PS. Um, yeah. Kevin, what, what were those things we're that back. we forgot? Uh, you know, in our excitement, uh, we completely overlooked uh, what I think are two really important points. Absolutely. One, IPS display, 12.5-inch, 350-nit, okay. bright, Incredibly bright IPS display. Yep. Covered by Gorilla Glass. Okay. Right? Important durability, reliability, toughness. And Gorilla Glass, if you recall, was on our, our original ThinkPad X1 yep. where you, in the oh, unboxing I just video, you. all sorts of things here. Tap on the screen. Yeah. In the original X1 <laughs> video, Kevin was found gouging a key into it, much to right. my horror at the time. Um, and but, then uh, uh, the magnesium body construction. Okay, which means what? Which means uh, it's a ThinkPad, right? So it's magnesium body construction, Gorilla Glass, goes through all of our full slate of uh, traditional ThinkPad torture tests. Beat, bang, dropped, uh, you know, everything Fried, that we put it through. scattered, smothered. It, right, covered and chunked. Right, exactly. <laughs> so so uh, it's tough mm. and uh, it's beautiful. This uh, Honestly, the, yeah. the brightness of the screen yeah. really comes through. I don't know much about nits, but I know a beautiful screen when I see one. Uh, th- those who know enough to care will know that 350 is a pretty darn good number. It's bigger than 349. <laughs> yes, so it is. Thanks for allowing us a quick PS, and this has been ThinkPad Twist Unbox. And we're really gone this time. Thank you.